I can't tell Ryan. Not yet. Not until I know what I'm going to do. Any ideas? None. Which is completely crazy, considering it's all I've been thinking about. Part of me just doesn't even feel like it's real. How do you feel? A little bit of morning sickness and some dizzy spells. Might as well be a cold. Well, then you lucked out on the morning sickness. I had it pretty brutal. Oh, my God. Here you are being so nice to me, and I wasn't even thinking about your baby. It's I, fine. No, I, I, I don't even know what to apologize for. Madison. First, the fact that I made you lose your baby, or, or that I'm making you sit here listening to me go on about whether or not I want to keep mine. It's in our past. I mean, the thing is, I, you know, I love children. You and Emma got along real well, huh? She's great. And, and Ryan is such a great father, you know? He's patient and loving and loves spending time with his kids. It's, it's everything that I never had. If you keep this baby, you're gonna tell him, right? I can't even, I, I don't know. Have you ever thought that he could help you decide? I go back and forth about it all the time. Tell him, don't tell him, maybe later, maybe never. Sounds exhausting. He would do all the right things, say all the right things. It would be awful, would it? Ryan and Greenlee just got back together. Greenlee's moved in with him. He loves her, not me. What? You're still in love with him. I so wish I weren't. Dr. Cantor, the OBG way, and we'll be ready for you in 15 minutes. Thanks, Melissa. Just let me know when the doctor's ready to see me. Dr. Max, extension 456. Don't tell me congratulations are in order. No! Um, just my, you know, yearly checkup. Hi. Hi. Everything okay with your arm? Oh, yeah. I was just here looking for Bianca, actually. Um, thought she might be here on some Miranda Center business. Oh, I should get going. Yeah. I feel like I should give you my kidney or something. <laughs> yeah, I'll remember that in case I ever need one. Oh, thank you so much for covering for me. And, and for staying for everything. I could go in with you if you want. You know, I think I need to do it on my own. Okay. Let me know how it goes. I will. I see myself holding that pillow, and it's like looking in, watching somebody else. And the doctor saw you. Yes, he's the one who found me and kept me from doing it. Mm. What the hell is wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. You're not responsible for any of this. Yes, but I feel None like it's my fault. None of this is your fault. I just feel like everything is spinning out of control all around me. I don't know what I'm going to do if my mother goes to prison. I have no idea. Listen to me. Your mother is in good hands, and so are you. I'll do everything in my power to protect you and her. Whatever it takes. Thank you. Okay. Even with you in this bed, even with everyone knowing what you did, you, not me, I'm still getting blamed for all of it. So you got my message about where I'm staying. You're mad. I'm trying to be. For some reason, you don't make it easy. I'm sorry. Do you realize that Jake's wife knows who you are? I know. I was stupid not saying anything. But you know, I... There was this photo. She's so beautiful. And then their child, and I... Did you see Jake? I tried to recruit him. You what? That right there is exactly why I didn't tell you. 
So you came here to see him? Had nothing to do with me. Hey, it's always a bonus to see you. I didn't tell you the truth because I knew you would stop me. You're damn straight I would have. <sighs> How'd it go? Not good. This is much harder than I thought it would be. It's complicated. Sorry. For what? Just, I'm sorry. But you have to deal with all of this insanity, and that's exactly what it is. It's, it's insanity. Well, I'm not dealing with anything. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just, you know, in shock. A little bit. So you didn't know that Kara was here? No, she just showed up, showed up at the hospital. Well, it must have been hard after the way things ended. Well, I don't know if you'd call it hard, necessarily. What was it like? Seeing her again. Oh, Caleb, I'm so glad you're still here. What happened? What do you mean? To Kendall, I, I, I just saw her and she just, she looked so distraught. I, did someone upset her? Look, Caleb, she's my daughter. I need to go and help her. Erica, if you really want to help her, leave her alone right now. Caleb, I don't understand. I mean, I know that Kendall's grieving. I know she's going through a horrible time, but she didn't just look sad. I mean, now she she just... She looked completely, completely rattled. She's terrified. Of what? Of herself. She tried to kill David Hayward. Hi. 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 Um, Mom's not here. Oh, that's okay. I actually came to talk to you. Can I come I inside? I left my car kind of cold out there. Um, I was just wondering, is there anything you need? No, I'm, I'm all set. Well, I just thought with Christmas coming and all that maybe there was... Look, I, I, I know that the Christmas has to be a big deal for those boys and probably the last thing you want to deal with right now. I'll manage. You don't have to. Let me take care of this. I can shop for the presents. I can wrap them. I can stuff the stockings. I'll even leave the note from Santa Claus. Jack. But I want cookies and milk. And I'm talking about chocolate chips and 2%. I don't want, like, veggies and fuzzy water. Santa doesn't roll that way. Uh, Deal? Come on. Uh, Come on. Uh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Okay. I, good. I think I can do that. Okay, good. It'll be fun. <laughs> <Okay>. Come here. <laughs> hmm. No cause for concern. Everything looks fine. That's good, right? I'm sorry. Obviously, that's good. So, uh, how far along am I? Can't be more than two months. Your baby's measuring at about seven weeks. My baby. I'm going to go. I'd like to say this is it. I'll never see you again. But you and I both know that's not true. Strange. Seeing Kara again. It's just surreal. You know, but I'm, I'm glad because it got the first time thing over with. You know? Uh, so what does that mean? I mean, like, there's going to be more times? No, no. You know how with exes you think to yourself, what if you see them again, and now I did that. And I'm, it doesn't matter anyway. Remember, she said that she's leaving town in a couple of days, so that's... Did she ask about us? She didn't have to ask about us. She can tell that I'm happy. And I am. I'm, I'm very happy. Don't you ever forget it, okay? I won't. Good. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm late to pick up Trevor. I'm gonna just call the babysitter and tell her I'm on the way. Leave one of these because what if I want to show off to my friends? No. No. Yeah, 
close your eyes, maybe the gun can finally sound like like sleigh bells. It's okay. It's okay. It's Molly's. That's what I'm gonna miss. Yeah, because nothing says Christmas like a nice hot tamale. <laughs> Fun of me no, right no, now. no, it's what? good. It's, I get it. It's <laughs> delicious. <laughs> and your turn. Uh, uh, I'll miss eggnog. Beautiful, creamy, smooth, sticky eggnog. Yeah. No, it's That sounds disgusting. No, it's good. It's, trust me, it's good. It's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. My, um... My big crease extended family. get to meet them someday. Someday? Or I could stay right here for the rest of our lives. It's okay with me. At least not me that, Jake. Merry Christmas, girl. Send off.